Hello! Hello Green Eyes and welcome back to Seduce Me the Otome. Um, we left off at a very critical point last time where it seems like everything's over. So uh, let's hope it's not and continue, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. Or so I'd hoped. Oh, dang it. Things didn't end quite yet. <laughs> You are an interesting creature. Who is this bitch? There we go. Sorry. There we go. All right. Sorry, I'm like OCD, but lines showing. Done. Oh, this is just stupid. Whatever. I open my eyes to see a woman staring down at me with a very sly smirk on her face. I open my mouth to scream in fright, but a hand quickly covered my mouth. That's, that's like those, those memes you see of like Ursula with like the the front facing camera. That's what this is reminding me of right now. That's not a flattering angle for you. Ah ah ah! No screaming now. Too early, silly girl. Okay. I can only stare up at the woman above me. I still felt weak, not having the strength to move or fight her off. She's very beautiful, but I felt more anger than amazement. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind well, of understandable. Do the boys like you. You're unique, yes, but that can't be all that you have going for you. My wonderful personality and my dumb bitchness. Rage began to consume my core again. This woman, whoever she was, was making me mad. She must have known as she let another smirk grow on her face. Ooh, you're feisty. That could be why. Okay. Before I could bite her hand in anger, she removed my, her hand from my lips, standing up and staring down at me from her place next to my bed in that extremely unflattering angle. Quickly sat up and glared daggers at the intruder. Oh, that's much better. Who the hell are you and why are you in my room? Reasonable question for a dumb bitch, right? The woman began to laugh, making the rage inside me increase. I wanted to punch her, but I waited for her answer. <laughs> How silly of me. I forgot that we demons are not well known of in your world. You can call me Diana, little human. Okay. Diana? Demon? You're a demon? She just said that, dumb bitch. I am. But I'm much more than just an average demon. Of course you are. What do you mean? Silly girl. I'm a succubus. Oh, the boys are incubi and this one's a succubus. Okay, I get it. Haha. -ha. I stared at Diana and Shock. A succubus, first incubi, now a succubus. Great. Now I've met both genders of sex demons. <laughs> I can't. Diana crossed her arms under her bosom and looked at my body. Well, you are pretty. That's not going to work on me. But you seem very <clears throat> reckless. Too reckless. There's no such thing. I moved out and stood from the bed, still glaring at Diana. Why are you here? Well, I came here to clean up what the boys clearly forgot to clean. Tch, men. So sloppy. Are you trying to kill me because I know of their existence? What do you mean by that? I mean erasing your memories, sweetie. No. This woman wasn't serious, was she? She comes up in my room and spouts this? This is ridiculous. I'm gonna walk towards my door, wanting to leave the room. The boys could get rid of her. I had no mind about dealing her myself. The boys are gone, sweetie. They're gone already? No way! Diana glaring harder and kept smirk to me. You're lying. Am I? If you want to go see for yourself, you can. But I promise you'll be wasting your time. Okay. I stared trying to find any hint she was lying. She had to be. The boys wouldn't just up and leave without resting first, right? Diana crossed her arms and waited for me to make a choice. I decided to believe her. For now. I'd find some hint in this conversation. 
What do you mean, take my memories? <laughs> well, we demons can't have just anyone knowing about us. You have to completely devote your soul to learning about us. And even then, it's not always guaranteed that you can be granted knowledge of us. Oh, like it's such a fucking privilege. Well, maybe not deserve to know any everything. I was attacked by devils. I found the boys in my house, wounded, and sheltered them. I think I deserve to remember those moments. Diana let out a laugh, running her head through her hair before looking back at me, amused. You were attacked by a gang and were almost killed. You found five homeless men and let them stay in your home. There's nothing special about either of these instances. Is that the memories you could replace mine with? Is that where we're going with this? Yes, there was. A human like you can't understand the rules. The boys themselves aren't even aware of the rules. They'll learn soon enough. All right, Queen Superior. Diana flipped her hair before looking at me with a stern look. Listen, sweetie. You're not going back to bed or leaving this house with those memories. I'm taking them from you one way or another. Really? I glared, standing my ground. You're not taking my memories. I'm not letting you take them. God, dumb bitch is dumb. And what do you plan to do with them, huh? Tell the press? Gossip to your friends that demons exist? Now she's making me mad. Did she seriously think I was that stupid? Well, your name is dumb bitch. Uh, these memories are precious to me, and I wasn't going to let her win over my mind. These memories are important to me. I know that other creatures exist. I know that magic exists. I'm more open-minded now. Open-minded? What does she mean by that? The point of being open-minded was to be open to all thought. How is that anything close to being gullible? There is nothing to learn from remembering the boys that won't bring trouble. I'm merely saving you from that. There are more than just demons who want to keep their existence a secret. There are many creatures in this world that don't want to be known of. And you remembering a small fragment is not acceptable to them without good reason. Um... Okay. I love how the boys didn't explain this to me. Diana smirked. If you would have kept the boys, or at least had one of them around, they'd be a little more lenient to listen to your pleas. However, you're about to go into tomorrow without any of them around. I couldn't believe my ears. There were more than just demons. Other fictional creatures existed? There was a system? What? Snapped her fingers, lifting my body from Look, the ground with her magic. I can kill you and no longer waste what little time I have, or I can erase your memories and go on with my life. I have more important things to do above arguing with you. On the ground was a very large open mouth with sharp wet teeth, leading to an empty black abyss. I could feel the heat from the mouth's breath pant upon my floating body. Ugh. Ah! I looked at Diana, who was staring at me with a stern and almost heartless gaze. Make a choice, sweetie. Give up your memories, or be a demon snack. I was panicking. I was about to die. Again. Boys weren't here to protect me. What was I going to do? I'm going to make her a deal. See if she goes for it. Then I remembered, demons had a conscience. They weren't heartless for that reason. She could be reasoned with. You seem like a businesswoman. Wait. What? You're wasting my time. What about a deal, huh? Diana raised an eyebrow. I was afraid she wasn't one to listen. What if she was a ruth as ruthless as I imagined her to be? I'm listening. Oh, okay, I guess she is listening. Wait, really? Was she just willing to listen to me? She didn't drive me in a pit of death, but she didn't let me out of her spell. Now is a good time as I need to try reason. These memories are precious to me, but they're not worth losing of my life. Of course. I mean, if I die, people wonder or try to find explanations as to why I died or where I disappeared to. Then just hand over your memories. What if I traded them to you instead? You seem like a reasonable businesswoman. A trade is better than forcing me to give in, right? Hmm. She's thinking about it. This is insane. I don't even know if she was willing to listen. She already had me hanging over a pet of death. The only thing I could hope for was her being forgiving enough to listen to reason. Well, speak your terms. What do you want in exchange? I let out a relief sigh. She was willing to listen further. Well, what can you give me in return for them? I'm a demon. I can give you anything within reason. Money, men, women, power. Name it. Just make it worth the price. She could give me anything. My mind began to wonder, what did I want? 
I love if it's her or power. I don't know. She seems kind of bitchy though, so. Diana raised an eyebrow at me. What kind of power? Anything. I just want to have it. <laughs> Grip my chin, examined in my face, which made me wonder what the heck she was looking for. Did I have something on it? <laughs> Diana's eyes see the old glow. She looked into my eyes, which both scared me and made me feel warm and fuzzy. Well, since you didn't... She tapped her fingers on her crossed arms, trying to think. I wasn't sure what ran through her mind, but I hoped it was good. As if coming up with a solution, Diana finally lowered her arms Very and well, herself. human. Power you want, so power you shall have. That's the thing about not specifying the kind of power I wanted. Do I have, like, the power to make sh people shit their pants? Like, I should have been probably a little more specific. Diana snapped her fingers and caused a large beam of purple and black light to shoot it for the pit, piece, pit, uh, bleh, pit, <laughs> pit beast below me. I became consumed in it, shutting my eyes tightly. The world around me became dark, and I didn't want to open my eyes for any reason. I couldn't feel myself fall. Couldn't even feel my own body. Darkness surrounded my body, and I felt weightless in its embrace. What was, it? was this what I wanted? Where was I? Was I dead? I couldn't be. This couldn't be what death was. What's going to happen to me? Why was I in darkness? I didn't know what was happening, and I felt like screaming, but in darkness like this, who would answer? Diana, where are you? I could hear my voice empty in the darkness without echo. I was in an abyss, left alone with no one to turn to. Was this freedom? Was this power? What was this? You're too chaotic for the world of humans, little girl. I'm going to give you something very valuable, so you best not squander the chance. Okay. I'm actually probably going to go ahead and end the video here, just because that seems like a pretty decent cliffhanger. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll probably record another one right after this, but... I will see you next time. Bye.